as tight as it goes. Oh no, it's actually pretty loose. After a while it starts to squeeze on your noggin a little bit. I think the main thing that I always say that I'm going to take from the military is a sense of pride. In the event of the rollover, someone will call out rollover, whoever noticed it. A sense of satisfaction in knowing that I had a chance to serve my country. The second half of the Air Guard team on 6-7 is Sergeant Joshua Tatum. When he's not dismounted or providing security, Josh spends the majority of his time back to back with Mac in the rear air guard hatch. Main concern is, um, you know, the safety of one another. I know the second IED that we hit, um, our com out, our commo went out, and I was driving, and I'd only, you know, I was substitute driving, so I hadn't been driving for very long. The commo went out, and they could hear me. They thought I was screaming because I'd hurt. But I, because I was hurt, but I was yelling, is everybody okay? Because of their role with the battalion TAC, they see a bit more of Mosul than your typical striker crew. You know, we see the entire um, battle space that we have for our battalion instead of just seeing one area of operation for a company. We see all the company's areas and things, so. Yes, 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 yes. You know, we'll go into the neighborhoods where it seems like everybody loves us and we're in a you know, a ticket tape parade and we're waving and everybody's just coming out and the roads fill up and we have to drive really slow so we don't run over little kids and it makes you really proud and happy to see that they appreciate us and that, you know and they're they're taking advantage of the freedoms that they're gonna have and the changes that are happening. Nice to meet you, Fabio. Hey, que pasa, amigo? Missions may last four to eight hours depending on where they go or what they're doing. When they return to the FOB, they simply switch gears. Change. Go do buys and tries. You know, we're with it. we're with each other, you know, every day, all day long. And, you know, we we live together, we shower together, we you know, we eat together, work out together, we do everything together and you know, sometimes you you fight and bicker, but I think all great relationships have that. I don't know, I'm, I'm grateful for the men that I'm surrounded with, I guess is what I'm trying to say. The members of this team will all be going their own way after the tour in Iraq is over. Their bond of friendship is something they'll all take with them. It's funny, but every day we talk about, you know, the motorcycle trips we're going to take, you know, while we're out. And Jordan's always telling me that he uh, better get a wedding invitation, you know, things like that. So, you know, I think the, the bond that you were talking about before is a bond that's, that's built, and I think it's one that, that lasts. It might be cliche to call them a band of brothers, but it is surely true. Brothers that have shared a human experience reserved only for warriors, heroes, soldiers. You know, you grow to, you grow to love the guys whether or not you know you would in a normal circumstances. You know, you grow to love them, you grow to treat them like you know like brothers or like wives, and uh, and you realize that yeah, you can't trust them. They are going to be there for you. So, and you hope you know that they feel the same way about you. Army Sergeant Lance Milstead, 366 MPAD, Mosul, Iraq.